Before performing the experiment, make sure you've gathered the correct materials and have the procedure nearby. That way it's easy to perform and easy to understand. When throwing the eggs at the target, do not throw them with full force or at anything other than the target. Since this experiment will involve throwing an object at a target, it is important to do it in an open area without any fragile objects nearby. When performing any kind of science experiment, it's necessary to follow the correct safety procedures to prevent any unwanted injury, damage, or mess from occurring. Though this experiment is not going to involve any sharp edges, open flames, or high-speed objects, it's still important to follow the correct safety procedures. Never perform any experiments without adult supervision. For the first experiment, this egg will be thrown at this wall. The egg will stop immediately as it is a solid surface. As you can see, the force of the impact caused the egg to break and even explode. For the second experiment, the egg will be thrown at this blanket. Here the egg will experience a prolonged impact. Even though the egg was thrown with the same force at two different surfaces, it only broke when it hit one of them. Why is that? What was different between the two scenarios? What causes an egg to break? How did the differences in scenarios affect the egg? What do you think? This experiment is based off of one fairly simple concept, the impulse momentum theorem. The theorem is defined as the change in the momentum of an object equals the impulse applied. Now what does all of this mean? Essentially, the change in the egg's velocity times its mass equals the force applied to stop it times the amount of time it was applied. This is shown in the experiment since the eggs were the same mass, they had the same change in momentum, and they had the same force applied. The only difference was the amount of time the force was applied. This is why the egg that is thrown at the solid wall broke, but not the one thrown at the blanket. The blanket cushioned the hit and spread the force over a longer amount of time. The wall, on the other hand, had no cushioning, so the eggshell took all of the force in a very short amount of time, leading it to shatter. 